everybody, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to yet another video. I'm Just That Officer, and this is the CM6M from Mirror Safety. All right, so before we get too far into this gas mask from Mirror Safety, I want to kind of explain the reasons why you want to get one in the first place. Now, I made that intro video for a reason. I wanted to hone in the fact that you never know when something terrible is going to happen, and you want to be prepared. So having a gas mask in your arsenal is a good option because if you don't and the world starts falling apart, well, everyone's gonna be trying to get a gas mask at that point and you might not find one. So if you're like me, rather be safe than sorry. So that being said, let's check out this great option from Mirror Safety. So why the CM6M? Well, for starters, it's a really lightweight, compact design for a gas mask. You know, you get some gas masks that are like crazy in your face, uh, a lot of stuff going on. Uh, this keeps it very simple and functional. So when Mirror Safety reached out to me, they gave me an option to choose between their masks. And I chose this one for a very specific reason, simply because it has the most visibility. Now, if I'm in any kind of crisis situation, I wanna have good visibility. And with this, you have 180 degrees here. So with that 180 degrees, you're gonna get a polycarbonate impact scratch resistant visor here, which is what you really want and in those kind of situations because these things can get thrown around, you can be going through a brush and stuff like that. It could be scratching up your lenses and you want that protection so you can maintain your visibility. So the outside rubber here is made from a bromobutyl rubber. Uh, it's very highly resistant to chemicals. Uh, so it's not gonna deteriorate and fall apart in case of those CBRN attacks. The interior rubber is a hyperallergenic compound, which is gonna be a nice tight seal and it's going to avoid fogging. This also has a built-in speech diaphragm. So as you heard in the beginning of this video, well, you heard me probably pretty well coming out of a gas mask. That's pretty impressive because most gas masks, you can't really hear anything that I'm saying. So that's gonna work well with or without communication devices. So another great feature is that this has a drinking tube, so you don't have to take your mask off when you need to get yourself some hydration. So the tube is held up on the side here. It has this nice little latch uh, to keep it out of the way when you're not using it and a nice protective cover. So you can take that cover off and then you can adapt it to your drinking canteen, which actually comes in the box when you order this gas mask. So you've got a nice actual water container here, which is CBRN protected. So once you have it hooked up, you can see on the bottom here, there's this little knob which twists. This will actually turn the interior drinking tube towards your mouth so that you could drink. And then when you're done, you can just turn it back and out of the way. So I think that's an extremely important feature uh, because you never know how long you're gonna be going from one destination to the other before you can get to a decontamination zone or so forth. You need to hydrate. Having that feature could be life-saving. So looking at the back here, you have a six-point harness, which is gonna allow you to create a nice tight seal. Also, for the back of the head, you have a nice mesh lining here. Mesh is great because it's breathable. Now, I've seen some gas masks out there, really expensive gas masks even, have a rubber backing, and that rubber backing is very hot on the back of your head, just traps heat. Heat. It also looks like they have some solid stitching back here to make it nice and strong. Uh, last thing you want is one of these things to break and snap off, which has happened to an old gas mask that I used to have for work actually. Uh, it was a rubber on rubber, plastic on plastic kind of situation, and one of them snapped and broke off. So I think this material that they have on here is going to do really well because it stretches. So you're not going to stretch it too far beyond its limits to where it's going to snap when you're trying to put this on. So what you want to do is you can take both your hands like this to help spread it out and slide it on your head. You bring it down like this and see that audio diaphragm there, speech diaphragm is working really well because you should still be able to hear me pretty decently. You take these little straps on the side and you're gonna pull them towards the back. Go all the way around and nice and tight. So it should feel nice and snug. What you can do is you can plug this part up so if I suck it to your face like that, it's working, you got a great seal. Even with my beard, I'm getting a good seal. So let's talk about the filter that Mirror Safety offers. This is the NBC 77 SOF that they offer. This is gonna basically cover nearly everything that you're going to need a gas mask for. So it's kind of a do-it-all filter. And what's really great is this has a 20 year shelf life. Maybe not so much since I opened it. However, it probably still lasts a decent amount of time putting these screw caps back on and sealing this side as well. Even though air some guy kind of got in there, I wouldn't count on it being a 20 year shelf life. But if you buy it from Mirror Safety, it comes vacuum sealed and you can just keep that on yourself. Uh, keep it in cool temperatures, preferably inside your house. And it'll last a lifetime. It'll last 20 years, probably even more than that. So for all your nerds out there, I'll go ahead and post up all of the uh, facts and details about this filter up on the screen right now. So this will have uh, all the testing they've done with different chemicals and how long it has lasted with those testing with those chemicals. All right, so another nice feature to have is having two different ports for your filters. So if you're like me, you're gonna wanna put it on this side. 
which is my left side because I'm a right-handed shooter. The reason being is that when you go to shoot, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have as close as you can to a cheek wheel. Now you're not gonna have a nice cheek wheel with this mask because it's just not designed that way. They do, however, make a shooter's mask, which is designed to have a nice cheek weld, although you lose a lot of visibility. But if I go ahead and put this on, I'm gonna pop this off. So unfortunately, I don't have easy access to a range, otherwise I'd take you guys out to a range and actually shoot with this. However, I do have my firearm with me, so I can kind of show you what it's kind of like. So obviously you don't want the filter on this side if this is how you shoot. But from here, I can get a decent weld and I can see down my sights, no problem. I aim point on there, red dot, any kind of EOTex, any kind of sight on there, you're gonna be able to see it pretty well. Iron sights will probably be a little bit more tricky. You probably wanna make sure that you have batteries with you in your go bag, so that it's working because that's gonna be the easiest way for you. Definitely a bit trickier, can't really see my iron sights on here. So you gotta figure out what you really want to do. Do you wanna have the shooter mask with limited visibility, but heck, you can have a really solid cheek weld for shooting, or do you wanna have a decent cheek weld, be able to shoot, but be able to have full vision as well. I prefer this. So also having two ports allows you to have two filters. However, having two filters is going to add a little bit more weight to the mask and obviously reduce the ability to have you shooting like I just explained. And honestly, you really only need one. The only other positive with having two is probably better airflow, so better breathability. But as you guys could see, I was talking to you just fine. There is a little bit of resistance there, but not enough to where it's really, really hindering me. So I won't go too far into it. However, a CBRN attack, you're gonna need more than just a gas mask. You wanna make sure that you have a full hazmat suit to go along with this gas mask. But don't worry, Mirror Safety has your back with that as well. You can get all of this stuff on their website. Not only do they have hazmat suits, they also have gas masks for your children and they also have it for infants. You can put your infant in this safe sealed container, which sounds awful thinking about that. But hey, when it comes down to survival mode, it ain't pretty. But if you guys are interested in any of these things, you guys can follow the link down below in the description. Click on that link. If you buy something through that link, I do get a small commission, so I do appreciate it. So final thoughts on this gas mask. If I had one suggestion to make, it would be to put a extra protective visor cover on here. Even though this is impact and scratch resistant, it's not invincible. Um, I'm sure it will get some deep scratches in it, depending on how much you use it and so forth. So having a nice protective barrier there to be able to take off if case that barrier gets scratched to hell then you can take it off and you have good vision again so that's the only thing i think that needs to be added to this mask other than that they literally thought about everything so that being said if you are a law enforcement agency and you are trying to seek out good gas masks for your agency i think this is a great option out there for you all right guys so if there's anything that i missed whatsoever in this video please let me comment down below in the comment section that way i can answer your question and others might have the same question as well and we can answer it for them. So if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you smash that like button for me. Subscribe if you want to and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!